NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Being a champion takes more than talent, more than the perfect pass, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder, the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. The legacy began in 1973. That was the year NCAA Division II was born. And since the very first day, our division has shaped generations of student athletes with a true sense of academics, athletics, and community. That is five decades of graduations, championships, teamwork, and personal development. 50 years of shaping student athletes into world-class leaders. NCAA Division II, our division, our legacy.
The legacy began in 1973. That was the year NCAA Division II was born. And since the very first day, our division has shaped generations of student athletes with a true sense of academics, athletics, and community. That is five decades of graduations, championships, teamwork, and personal development. 50 years of shaping student athletes into world-class leaders. NCAA Division II, our division, our legacy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome inside Royal Broome Pavilion here in Seattle, Washington. We have a good one on tap for you tonight. I'm Greg Sexton. You're watching SPU Basketball on YouTube. The Falcons tonight taking on the St. Martin Saints from uh, just about an hour south of here in Lacey, Washington, uh, in the Olympia area. And uh, the Saints ranked number 13 coming into this game. They uh, were ranked uh, up in the top three for a lot of the season, but uh, they've gone two and two in their last four. All four of those games have been decided by uh, four points or fewer, and so they've been playing a lot of close games lately. They played um, SPU down in uh, Lacey on January 20th. They were actually ranked number three in the country at that time, and St. Martin's won that one 89-71. But uh, as I mentioned, they've been playing some close games lately. The Falcons, 13 and 13 overall on the season, six and seven in conference play. They are 10 and two at home. Uh, officially on the schedule page, it says they're nine and one at home. But uh, there's there's a couple of games in there that took place here in November that they're con looking looks like they're considering neutral site games. Uh, those happen here at Royal Brom, so I call them I'll call them home games. Falcons have been a great home team, have not been a good road team at all. So uh, they they have some home cooking here. First of three straight at home is they'll get Western Oregon on Saturday, and then Montana State Billings will be here the following Saturday on February 24th, and that'll be an important one. Really all at, coming down the stretch, Falcons are just barely in the GNAC tournament, tied for fifth with Western Washington. Just a half game ahead of Alaska Anchorage. The Falcons have to go up to Anchorage and play them. As uh, Falcons are coached by Kefri Fazio. He's an interim head coach in his first year. 
And the uh, Saints are coached by Aaron Landon. He's in his fifth year down in Lacey. And actually, uh, prior to that, he was the coach at South Puget Sound Community College, also in Lacey. And uh, we're about to getting, uh, we're about to set here for the tip-off. Shaw Anderson and Shaquem Alcindor in the circle. And Alcindor wins the tip. And the Saints start with possession. This is Jaden Nielsen Skinner with the ball. And we get a whistle. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what uh, was the cause for the delay here. They didn't start the shot clock. So they started the game clock. They did not start the shot clock. And so they'll get that rectified. It should uh, should be a little... They're, they're going to put it at 22 seconds. As uh, St. Martin's had, had possession right off the tip. So I uh, thought there might be maybe a second difference there. But... Uh, they do have the shot clock set now, and the Saints with possession. And here's Kyle Greeley taking a three from the left wing. That one is off the mark, and it's going to be bat or saved inbounds. And it was uh, Marcel Stevens getting just his second start of the year, coming up with the save there. Nielsen Skinner took it to the bucket there and couldn't get it to go, and the Falcons with the rebound. Saints have three players from Salem, Oregon in their starting lineup, including two transfers from Portland State as uh, Moriarty, Owen Moriarty, comes up short on the jumper for the Falcons. And here's Nielsen Skinner the other way. Tyke Thompson, a three. And that one is off the mark. Alcindor, though, with the offensive rebound, kicks it out to Stevens. And Marcel Stevens knocks down a three from the left wing. Stevens out of Beverly Hills, California. And transferred from CSU Northridge, also known as CSUN, as uh, the Saints with a 3 0 lead here in the early going. Here's Maui Z taking a three from the top of the key. That one's off the back iron. And a long rebound comes out to Tyke Thompson. And the Saints back the other way with it. Thompson gets it to Stevens. Stevens inside for Alcindor. And he's going against Shaw Anderson. Leaves it short, but Greeley is there to put it back up and in. For the Saints, and they take a 5-0 lead. Kyle Greeley averaging 17.3 points per ball game to lead the Saints. For the Falcons, Sean Anderson averaging 21 points a ball game. As here's Trace Evans. Goes around Alcindor, goes over him, and misses the shot off the back iron. And the Falcons have yet to hit a shot. Here's Tyke Thompson, a good look at a three. That one is off the mark. Alcindor in there for the offensive rebound. And he's having his way with Trace Evans a little bit here in the early going. Couldn't get the shot to go, though. And Evans comes down with a rebound. 5 nothing Saints. Falcons with Owen Moriarty out of Seattle. Here is Jaden Pinnegar taking a three, and that one is off the back iron. No good. Pinnegar out of Logan, Utah. A sophomore. Moriarty, a sophomore from in, here in Seattle. That one thrown away. We go back to the Falcons with 17.30 to go as Nathaniel Stokes from Tacoma, Washington checks in for St. Martin's coming in for Shaquem Alcindor. Maui Z, a junior from right here in Seattle, and he's looking for 10 more points tonight to push him to 1,000 for his career. Started his career at Bellevue College and has played the last two seasons here at SPU. He's a junior. Here's Trace Evans. Kicks it over to Moriarty. It was deflected, but Moriarty coming away with it. Trying to get into the paint. Couldn't do it. Now they get it into Evans. He goes up over Tyke Thompson, and that one rims out. And the Falcons can't buy a bucket here in the first three minutes of the ballgame. Trace Evans out of New South Wales, Australia, as this is loose on the floor, and Z comes up with it. Nice pass there from Moriarty to Pinnegar, and Pinnegar got gets out in front of everybody and flushes it with the right hand. 5-2. Stokes will get it to Nielsen Skinner. And now Stevens, another three on the way. No good. Rebound Stokes, though. And tapped back up. Off the mark. It's going to stay with the Saints. As the Saints had about three cracks at it there. Couldn't get any of them to go. 
Falcons will bring in Nikia Schoenerstedt out of Vienna, Austria for Trace Evans. And Nielsen Skinner will inbound. Nielsen Skinner, one of three. Tyke Thompson and Kyle Greeley, all from Salem, Oregon. And Greeley and Nielsen Skinner, as Greeley goes up with the shot from the baseline. Difficult shot, but he knocked it down. And it's a 7-2 ball game. Greeley and Nielsen Skinner, both in their third years with the Saints, transferring from Portland State. Here's Maui Z to the bucket and played through some contact there. Couldn't get the shot to go. Falcons just two points so far on a dunk by Jaden Pinnegar. This is Thompson, reverses it up and in. Got uh, under Jaden Pinnegar and got down the baseline. And it's a 9-2 game. St. Martin's with the leader in the early going. Here's Shaw Anderson, and he walked with the basketball as he tried to make an adjustment coming down the lane there. Took too many steps. And the Falcons with... Uh, 4.15 gone in this one. We get to a timeout on the floor. And it's 9-2. St. Martin's with the lead. We'll be right back in just a moment on the SP webcast. Back inside Royal Burham Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. Saints lead it 9-2. The Falcons did not have a good opening stretch there as they went 1-7. Uh, of seven. They're 1-7 of seven from the floor so far in this game, and they've been out-rebounded 12-2. St. Martins has six offensive rebounds already in the ballgame. And the Falcons will try to regroup here as Nielsen Skinner will get it across and get it to Stokes in the right corner. Nate Stokes with it, gets it back to Tyke Thompson, and now Greeley with it being guarded by Pentagar. Greeley looks out to Nielsen Skinner. Nielsen Skinner will drive baseline, and he'll put it up over Pentagar. That one rims out. And Pentagar the rebound for SPU. Here's Moriarty kicking it to Maui Z in the corner. And now Pentagar with it. Gets it to Shaw Anderson. He pulls up, goes up over Greeley, and puts it in as that one rattles home. And it's a 9-4 ball game. Shaw Anderson with his first two points. Shaw Anderson's second all-time in SPU uh, in, in points, trailing Lauren Anderson, who played back in the 50s. No relation to Shaw Anderson. But uh, Shaw Anderson, by the end of this season, is going to pass Lauren Anderson as long as he uh, stays on track. He's within 100 points of him. Falcons with five games left. And uh, hopefully for them, they are going to be in the GNAC tournament. Right now, they are on the bubble. If the uh, tournament were to start tonight, they would be in. Kyle Lutonen is in for the Falcons. Here's Schoenerstedt to Lutonen. And Lutonen being held there by Marcel Stevens, but plays through it. Moriarty gets into the into the paint, and we get a whistle. And they're going to call a foul here on Nielsen Skinner. As uh, getting up off the bench now, Miles Samuels, a junior out of West Palm Beach, Florida. As well as Caden Hansen, who is a redshirt freshman from Auburn, Washington. Moriarty to the free throw line, puts in the first. Hanson and Samuels into the game for the Saints. As uh, he's trying to run down the starting lineups 
did not mention Shaw Anderson is out of Kelso, Washington, and he's a senior for the Falcons. Moriarty knocks down both free throws. Mentioned that the Saints have three players in their starting lineup from Salem, Oregon. Thompson, Greeley, and Nielsen Skinner. Marcel Stevens out of Beverly Hills, uh, California. And Shaquem Alcindor out of St. Croix in the Virgin Islands. As uh, There's another bucket from Miles Samuels. And it's an 11-6 ball game. Both teams have made substitutions before I was able to get the get out the hometowns from the uh, starting lineups for both teams. Moriarty had to adjust in midair. Couldn't get the shot to go here. Is Stokes trailing and couldn't get the three to go, but he gets his own rebound. And another offensive rebound for St. Martin's. Hansen to Stokes, and now here's Samuels taking plenty of time to set up a three, and he couldn't get it to go. Shaw Anderson with the rebound. Falcons trail by five. 13 and a half to go here in the first half. And Anderson, being guarded by Stokes, gets into the lane and couldn't get the shot to go. Rebound to Samuels. Saints the other way. Hanson stopping and putting up the long two as his feet were on the line. And he couldn't get that shot to go. So a little bit of cold shooting on both ends, really, here in the early going. Moriarty scoops it up and in off the glass and gets to the free throw line. Owen Moriarty with a nice move there. And draws the foul on Hansen. So Moriarty will head to the free throw line with an opportunity at a three-point play. Jonas Latour in now for Jaden Pinnegar. And uh, Moriarty's free throw is good. He's got three free throws and five points total here in the early going. And it's an 11-9 ball game. Falcons were down 9-2. And they close the gap now to two points. Still very early in this one. Hanson to Stokes. And now J uh, Sean Moore in the game. Stokes gets to the bucket. Couldn't get the shot to go. Anderson ends up with a rebound. He'll slow things down and get it to Moriarty. And the Falcons with another possession trying to tie or take the lead here. Moriarty to the bucket. Reverses it up and in with the right hand. Had some English on that one and got it to go. Moriarty seven points here in the early going for the Falcons. Here's Nielsen Skinner. Puts it up with the left hand. Couldn't get that one to go. He's trying to scoop it up under Lutonen. And Lutonen falls to the floor. And Nielsen Skinner comes away with the steal. Nielsen Skinner takes a three. And all net on that one. Lutonen just uh, lost his balance there. Nielsen Skinner ended up with the basketball and had an open three and took it. 14-11, Saints with the lead. Luton into Schoenerstedt. Latour now. Anderson will get it back to Moriarty, who's being harassed by Nielsen Skinner and fouled. And that'll be the second on Nielsen Skinner. With 11.41 to go here in the first half, that'll take us to a timeout on the floor. Jaden Nielsen Skinner, though, picking up his second foul and uh, expect that he will be on the bench for the next few minutes. We'll see how Aaron Landon wants to play it. We'll be back in just a moment, 14-11 Saints. Back inside Royal Brougham Pavilion in Seattle, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. 14-11, Saints with the lead over the Falcons. Jaden Nielsen-Skinner hit a three and then picked up his second foul. 
And uh, he is on the bench now as on the floor now, Jay Sean Moore, Caden Hansen, uh, Nate Stokes, Marcel Stevens is in as well. And so is Miles Samuels for the Saints. Falcons with Z, Pentagar, Luton, and Latour, and Evans on the floor. And Latour with a turnaround jumper from the free throw line, and he puts it in. And he has his first two points of the ball game. And it's a one-point lead for the Saints. Here is Stokes crashing into Samuels there for a second. As they miscommunicated a little bit there. Samuels now gets into the lane and puts up the floater. Leaves it short. Luton in with the rebound. Here's Maui Z. Falcons trying to take the lead on this possession. Z swings it across court, and it's picked off by Jay Sean Moore. Saints the other way. An ill-advised pass by Z there. As uh, Z now commits a foul on Marcel Stevens. Z with his first foul. 10.46 to go first half. Saints by a point. As the, the uh, Falcons actually out shooting the Saints, but getting out rebounded 15 to 9. Seven offensive boards already for the Saints, and they had six in the first four minutes. Here's Hansen to Moore. Moore out of Detroit, Michigan. And this is Stevens now with the shot that rims out. And is thrown away, coming the other way, as Pentagar was unable to corral it. Had to make an adjustment and was not able to pull it in. And so uh, the Saints will have it back with 10.20 to go here in the first half. Both of these teams lost their GNAC openers as uh, the Falcons lost here to Alaska Fairbanks. And they're gonna get uh, they're gonna get Alcindor with a travel there, and it's going back the other way for the Falcons. Falcons lost here to Alaska Fairbanks on November 30th, and St. Martin's lost at home in overtime to Northwest Nazarene to open up the GNAC season. But uh, the Saints ripped off a bunch of consecutive wins. Here is Latour, nothing but net on the three, and the Falcons lead it by two. 16 to 14. Lately, though, the Saints, as Hayden, uh, Caden Hansen puts up the shot short, rebound Maui Z. The uh, Saints have lost games to Alaska Anchorage as the Falcons turn it over. And Simon Fraser was able to go into Lacey and beat the Saints by two. Another offensive rebound by Alcindor, and he puts it up and in. If you're wondering, he is no relation to Lou Alcindor, also known as, better known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Formerly Lou Alcindor, but uh, Shaquem Alcindor, no relation. Trace Evans will swing it in the corner for Z. Pinnegar steps inside the line, puts it up and in, and the Falcons retake the lead, 18-16. Nine minutes to play here in the first half. Here's Miles Samuels. Gets it to Stevens. And now here's Hansen. And Z is going to get called for a foul. He was uh, trying to poke the ball away. And you're going to say he made some contact. Now Z with his second foul is going to come to the bench. Along with Trey Evans as Shaw Anderson is back in as is Owen Moriarty for SPU. 8.44 to go in the first half. And it's an 18-16 Falcons lead. Inbounds pass comes into Stokes. He'll get it to Stevens. Stevens leaning into Luton and couldn't get the shot to go. Luton and taps it to Pinnegar, and the Falcons coming the other way. Moriarty for Pinnegar. Anderson at the top will hand off to Luton. In. He'll drive. He'll hand off now to Pentagar. As the Falcons look to penetrate. And now Sean Anderson is actually just going to take a three from the top of the key and it rims out. We get, they're going to call Greeley for a carry there. 
And so the Falcons will take it back. Called Kyle Greeley for a carry. And uh, it'll be Falcons ball as they lead by two. And uh, the official handing it to Jonas Latour and trying to move Aaron Landon out of the way there. As he wants Latour to inbound from kind of the corner of the scorer's table there. Falcons with possession. Here's Moriarty. And they're going to call him for a travel. As uh, Moriarty shuffled his feet there trying to get into the lane. And the Saints take it back. Hansen being guarded now by Moriarty. Stevens takes a three from the top of the key and puts it in. And the Saints retake the lead. 19 to 18. Moriarty back the other way as the Falcons can take the lead right back here on this possession. Taking down towards 7.30 to go here in the first half. Moriarty to Anderson. Pentagar going to take a three over Greeley, and Greeley got a piece of it, I believe, as that one came up well short, and the Saints back the other way. Hansen blocked by Pentagar, and Pentagar got a good piece of that one. It's out of bounds, and it appeared to be last touch by the Saints. The official called it the other way. Let's see if uh, they discuss this one. It gets us to a timeout on the floor either way. And uh, Kefri Fazio was standing right there looking for possession to go to the Falcons. 7.15 to go in the first half. 1918 Saints. We'll be right back on the SB webcast. The legacy began in 1973. That was the year NCAA Division II was born. And since the very first day, our division has shaped generations of student athletes with a true sense of academics, athletics, and community. That is five decades of graduations, championships, teamwork, and personal development. 50 years of shaping student athletes into world-class leaders. NCAA Division II, our division, our legacy. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Back inside Royal Brougham Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SP webcast. Saints with possession as they do stick with the call there. And Alcindor backing down on Schoenerstedt, and he walked to the basketball. Alcindor's been called for traveling twice now as uh, he had that one set up. He was backing down Schoenerstedt as uh, Alcindor... 6'8", and uh, has some size on him. As uh, he, called, he was called for traveling, though, for a second time in the game. And now he takes it away. Alcindor comes up with the steal, gets around Schoenerstedt, lays it up, lays it in. Alcindor got to the basket there with a good first step around uh, Nikias Schoenerstedt. Alcindor listed at 6'8", 250. Here's Schoenerstedt taking a three from the top of the key. That one off the back iron. Rebound to Greeley. Saints by three. Here's Hansen. Gets it to Thompson. He's going to take a three, and that one rims out. Rebound, though, to Stevens, and he'll kick it out to Hansen. Another offensive board for the Saints. Thompson for Greeley from the top of the key. A three on the way is short, but it comes right back to Kyle Greeley. He puts it up again. Couldn't get that one to go. Alcindor, another offensive board. And Stevens misses the shot. Gets another offensive rebound. Kicks it to Greeley. Alcindor down underneath. Puts it up. Puts it in. And one. And the Falcons just could not come up with a rebound on their end of the floor there. 
and it leads to an and one opportunity. A foul committed by Jaden Pentagar, and Shaquem Alcindor will be at the free throw line. 23-18, just under six minutes to play here in the first half. Alcindor with the free throw up and in. And it's a six-point game as Alcindor comes to the bench. Jay Sean Moore will come back in. Six-point lead for the Saints. Alcindor, a 65% free throw shooter on the season. This one thrown away by Trace Evans as Latour had to reach for it and couldn't come up with it. Kefri Fazio out onto the floor, taking a timeout. 5.47 to go first half, and the uh, Saints have scored the last few in this one. Falcons will talk things over. We'll keep it here. As uh, the uh, Falcons had a two-point lead, 18-16, Saints on an 8-0 run, which uh, included a couple of buckets and a free throw by Shaquem Alcindor. He's got... Seven points in the ball game now. Marcel Stevens with six on a couple of threes. And the, the uh, Saints just shooting 29% for the ball game, though. Expect that to come up. The Saints average 85, almost 85 points a game. Falcons averaging just under 74. As the Saints with possession. Saints have out-rebounded the Falcons 24-12. to Already a double-digit rebounding advantage here just in the first half. And the uh, Falcons are going to have to clean that up. Maui Z will come back in with two fouls as Jonas Latour comes to the bench. And Tyke Thompson inbounding it from in front of the Falcons bench. Six-point lead, Jay Sean Moore with the ball. Gets it to Stevens. Thompson now. Hanson taking a deep three. And nothing but net on that one. Caden Hanson, a redshirt freshman from Auburn. And the Saints lead it by nine now. It's an 11-0 run. Here's Evans. Finding Anderson going to the bucket. Anderson couldn't get the shot to go. It's tipped out. And Marcel Stevens comes away with it. And the uh, Falcons... Come up empty that time. We get a whistle on the rebound here, and it's going on Marcel Stevens. So the Falcons will take it back. Shaw Anderson, point blank at the bucket there, couldn't get it to go, and that's a rarity for him. As Anderson scores from all over the floor and shoots 51% from the field. Here's Evans. Evans shooting as he normally shoots it from about that far out. Couldn't get that one to go. Evans shooting 58% from the floor on the season. But the Falcons struggling to score tonight here against the Saints. And they trail by nine with 439 to go here in the first half. Lutonen will come in for Evans for SPU. As the Saints on an 11-0 run. And trying to get it across, and they do. Here's Caden Hansen. Being guarded by Maui Z. Gets it to Thompson. And we get a foul whistled on Jaden Pentagar here. That'll be his second. the fifth team foul on the Falcons as uh, Pinnegar and Z each have two and uh, Nielsen Skinner with two. The, the Saints only with four team fouls here in the first half. Greeley will get it to Moore and Moore driving and they're going to call him for a charge. As he made contact with Maui Z, kind of pushed him out of the way. Which is, uh, you know, Maui Z 
measures uh, 510, 175, but uh, more at 6'6". Six, six. Running over Z here. Shot Anderson getting to the bucket. He throws it down with the right hand. Anderson got into the lane and made sure that one was going down. As he was uh, he missed on a point blank lay in attempt moments ago. Here's Greeley turn around jumper over Pinagar and a fight for the rebound and Anderson comes away with it. Falcons the other way trailing by seven. Anderson kicks it to Z. He goes around Hanson, and now Pinagar with it. Here's Anderson. Anderson spinning into the lane, lays it up off the glass with the reverse. Anderson, a good looking move there to get to the bucket. And it's 27-22. Anderson putting all the offensive skills on display on that one. Five point lead for the Saints. Thompson out to Greeley. He has plenty of time to set his feet for a three, and he couldn't get it to go. Rebound Anderson. Shot Anderson. Trying to will the Falcons back into this one. Five point lead. Moriarty out to Anderson. Couldn't catch it cleanly. He'll give it up to Maui Z. And now Anderson gets it back, and they're going to call Jay uh, Sean Moore for the foul there. Could have gone on Anderson. But they're going to get it on Moore as he was moving his feet. That will take us to another timeout on the floor. Moore picks up his second. 2.42 to go here in the first half. 27-22. Saints with the lead. We'll be right back. Being a champion takes more than talent. More than the perfect pass. More than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. Greg Sexton back with you inside Royal Brown Pavilion in Seattle. 2.42 to go first half. Saints with a five-point lead, 27-22. And uh, the Falcons out shooting the Saints 41% to 28%. However, Saints with the rebounding edge 26-14. to And 13 offensive rebounds for St. Martin's. And uh, you can't give up, if you're the Falcons, you cannot give up 13 offensive rebounds in a game, let alone in the first half. But Falcons still very much in this one, down five, 240 to go first half. And uh, if the Falcons are able to pull this one out, it's going to be because they are shooting the ball a little bit better than the Saints. Kyle Lutonen knocks in a three, and it's a two-point game. Luton in with his first three of the game. And the Saints with possession. Now Marcel, Marcel Stevens gets into the lane, lays it up and in with the floater. He gets around Luton in. And a couple of other Falcons. And Marcel Stevens with eight points in the ballgame. A couple of threes and now a lay-in. Four-point game. Luton in another three on the way. That one off the mark. And the Saints will take it back the other way. Miles Samuels with it. Greeley. Greeley and Nielsen Skinner both transferred from Portland State. They're both in their third year now with St. Martins. And Greeley, as we mentioned, averaging over 17 points a game. Tyke Thompson went baseline there, and they're going to get a foul on Kyle Lutonen. Kyle Luton and happened to autograph the uh, roster uh, card that I have here. Don't know whether uh, he knew it was coming up here to the booth. 135 to go, and I don't know how many of them he autographed either. 
Four-point lead for the Saints. Here's Marcel Stevens stepping back, going over Moriarty and leaves it short and did not draw iron. Falcons with the rebound and Moriarty back the other way. Falcons trying to get it back within a possession. Luton in, in the corner for Latour. Quick three on the way. Puts it in. There's a couple of guys you want taking those quick threes, and they're both out on the floor right now, Luton in and Latour, as they can both just catch and shoot. And uh, Shaw Anderson, of course, not a bad shooter either. One-point game. Saints with possession under a minute to go. And really a, a relatively low-scoring first half for both of these teams. Samuels trying to get around Latour. Puts it up over him. Couldn't get it to go. It's tapped out of bounds. Last touched by St. Martins. It'll be Falcons basketball with 33.7 left on the clock. Now Z will come back in. And Latour will come to the bench. So the Falcons with... About uh, 3.7 differential here between the shot clock and the game clock. And so they'll try to use up most of the rest of the first half here. Saints will have a few seconds left regardless. Unless the uh, Falcons are able to get an offensive rebound. Which they have not gotten yet in this game. The Saints have 13 of them. Here's Maui Z. Going around Jay Sean Moore. Gets it to Luton in, in the lane, and he couldn't get that one to go. Greeley with the rebound. Gets up a desperation three at the buzzer and almost got it to go. Got the, the iron, but uh, does not get it to go down. Good first half here as the Saints lead it by one. 29-28. We're at halftime here in Seattle. Good ball game here as uh, we will take a break here on the SPU webcast and be back with you shortly to recap the first half. We will, uh, later on in the halftime break, we'll take a look around the GNAC and see what else is going on. The uh, Saints in second in the conference, the Falcons tied for fifth, and so uh, potentially a first-round GNAC tournament matchup, but a long way to go. We'll be back in a few minutes here on the SPU webcast. NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours.
Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SP webcast. 29-28, Saints over the Falcons at halftime. And a good ball game here, kind of a strange one with the Falcons out shooting the Saints by quite a bit. The Saints have gotten a ton of offensive rebounds, 14 to be exact, as uh, the Saints controlling the glass, 29-16 in the first half. But the Falcons uh, shooting 42% from the floor, the Saints just 28%. Beyond the arc, the Falcons are 3 of 9, 33%. Saints 4 of 16, 25% out there. Neither team has missed a free throw, but neither team has gotten to the line much as the Falcons are 3 of 3 at the line and the Saints are 1 of 1. Owen Moriarty, all three free throws for the Falcons. Shaquem Alcindor with one, the one free throw for the Saints. And uh, we take a look at... The uh, turnovers, the Falcons have turned it over eight times. The Saints have turned it over six times. Saints have four steals and the Falcons just one. But uh, we take a look at the individual stats here. And Marcel Stevens, making just his second start of the year for St. Martins, has eight points and five rebounds as he hit a couple of threes and then uh, got to the bucket on another uh, two-point field goal. Seven points for Shaquem Alcindor and five rebounds. Four points and five rebounds for Kyle Greeley. Two points and five rebounds for Tyke Thompson. Are you sensing a theme here? Nate Stokes with four rebounds for St. Martins as uh, they dominate the glass in the first half. And a, a big... Uh, Discrepancy, particularly in offensive rebounds. 14 for the Saints, none for SPU. But uh, Falcons down just one here. As they get seven from Owen Moriarty, three of three from the free throw line, and two of four from the floor. Six points and five rebounds for Shaw Anderson. And for uh, Jonas Latour, actually leading the Falcons in points off the bench, he had eight in the first half. Kyle Luton in with three points and six rebounds. And Jaden Pentagar with four points as well, uh, plus a rebound and a blocked shot and an assist uh, for the sophomore from Logan, Utah. 29-28, Saints with the lead here at the break. And we'll take another break here on the SPU webcast. When we come back, we will take a look around the Great Northwest Athletic Conference and see how things are shaking out. We're getting down to it here as uh, final game of the season will be on March 2nd, uh, just two weeks from this Saturday. But uh, we will talk a little more about that when we come back in just a moment on the SPU webcast.
Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. Falcons trail the Saints by a point at halftime, 29-28. As we take a look around the GNAC standings, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at the schedule uh, tonight in just a moment. But uh, the standings first, Montana State Billings actually on top in the conference at 11-2. And, and uh, the Saints beat them at home, but they have to go on the road on Saturday to Billings. And uh, that one will be basically for first place in the GNAC because uh, if St. Martin's wins that game, well, <laughs> we'll see how things shake out tonight. But uh, St. Martin's would have the tiebreaker over Billings if they were to win that game because they would have beaten them twice uh, if they're able to win on Saturday in Billings. Northwest Nazarene is right behind St. Martin's at 9-4 and four in the conference. Falcons were able to beat them here at home. Uh, on their, their last home stand here. And they also beat Central Washington, who is in fourth at 8-5. and five. Uh, A couple of solid wins for the Falcons over those two schools uh, last time they were at home, but then they went back out on the road, the Falcons did, and lost to both Western Washington and Simon Fraser. Falcons are tied for fifth with Western Washington. They're both 6-7. and seven. Those teams have split their season series already. They're done playing each other. Falcons are going to have to go to Alaska Anchorage on February 29th, two weeks from tonight. And Anchorage is at 5-7, and seven, uh, just a half game behind the Vikings and the Falcons uh, look, on the outside looking in at the moment. But uh, Anchorage in 7th. Simon Fraser playing a lot better lately. They've beaten both of these teams this month as they beat St. Martin's on uh, February 3rd, and then they just beat the Falcons on the 10th on consecutive Saturdays. They're 4-9 and nine in conference, though. Uh, they're in 8th, trying to work their way into the GNAC tournament. Alaska Fairbanks is at 3-9. and nine. Western Oregon is at 2-10. and 10. And in action tonight, clicked on the wrong link, but uh, Simon Fraser is at Alaska Anchorage. That'll be a big one there. And that one may be done, uh, should be done by this point, but I don't have a final for you on that one yet. Western Oregon is in Billings tonight, and they'll be here. Western Oregon will be here on Saturday. Western Washington is at Alaska Fairbanks. And uh, the teams that are off tonight are Central Washington and Northwest Nazarene. They will meet up in Nampa, Idaho on Saturday. And uh, those teams playing just once this week. But uh, we have, uh, again, Simon Fraser at Alaska Anchorage tonight, Western Washington at Alaska Fairbanks, Western Oregon at Montana State Billings, and then we have this one here. St. Martin's at SPU, and it's a one-point game at halftime. 29-28, Saints with the lead. And it's been, as I mentioned, a, a strange basketball game with... Uh, the Saints with 14 offensive rebounds, the Falcons with none. But the uh, Falcons out shooting the Saints um, by a pretty good percentage to this point in the game. We will have the uh, second half coming up for you shortly here on the SPU webcast. We'll be right back in just a moment.
In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. The legacy began in 1973. That was the year NCAA Division II was born. And since the very first day, our division has shaped generations of student athletes with a true sense of academics, athletics, and community. That is five decades of graduations, championships, teamwork, and personal development. 50 years of shaping student athletes into world-class leaders. NCAA Division II, our division, our legacy. Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you. Coming up with second half action shortly as the Falcons breaking their huddle. The uh, Saints with their original starting five on the floor. Alcindor, Thompson, Nielsen, Skinner, Stevens, and Greeley. And the Falcons with their original starting five as well. Moriarty, Z, Anderson, Evans, and Pinnegar. And the Falcons with the opening possession of the second half and a chance to take the lead here. As the Saints led for the majority of the first half, but a little bit of back and forth. Moriarty into the lane, and he walked to the basketball. Could not keep that pivot foot down. And the Saints will take it back the other way. Nielsen Skinner sat for a lot of the first half, picked up two quick fouls. They didn't bring him back in. Here's Alcindor to the bucket, puts it up and in, gets around Trace Evans. And both of those guys with some size, Evans, they have him listed at 248. They have Alcindor listed at 250. But Alcindor with nine points in the ballgame now for St. Martins. Nobody in double figures yet. Here's Pinnegar getting in the lane, couldn't get it to go as he shot that one well over the bucket and anticipating some contact there. Here's Tyke Thompson to Nielsen Skinner. Nielsen Skinner finding Thompson on the baseline. Steps back, shoots it over Trace Evans and puts it in. Tyke Thompson puts the Saints in front by five. And Thompson with four points in the ball game. Moriarty gets it to Evans. And now Anderson has it taken away by Nielsen Skinner. Nielsen Skinner back the other way. Puts up the floater in the lane. Puts it over Evans and puts it in. And it's a seven-point lead suddenly for the Saints with 18.26 to go here in the second half. Kefri Fazio has seen enough, and he takes a timeout. Saints a quick 6-0 run to start the second half. And uh, this will be a 30-second timeout, I believe. Uh, the Saints are sitting down and the Falcons are standing up. So might just be uh, Fazio telling his team, don't sit down. But uh, we'll keep it here. As the Saints opening up the second half, a lay-in by Alcindor, a jumper from the baseline by Thompson, and... Nielsen Skinner got into the into the lane and put in the floater from just inside the free throw line. And the Saints now shooting 33% for the ball game. Falcons at 41%. And still a big rebounding edge. 30 to 16 now for the Saints. As Falcons with their No, actually they have Kyle Luton in coming in now. As uh, Luton in comes in for uh, for Trace Evans, Saints with their same starting five, and the Falcons with possession, trailing by seven here early in the second half. 
Maui Z still looking for his first points. He's 10 off of 1,000 for his career. Shaw Anderson taking it through traffic and puts it up and in. As Anderson got through a couple of defenders and had an easy path to the bucket. Here's Nielsen Skinner taking a three. That one is off the mark. And a rebound going back to the Falcons. Last touch there by St. Martins. And the Falcons down five. We'll have an opportunity to get it back within a couple of possessions here, or within uh, one possession, I should say. Here's Maui Z getting to the bucket, lays it up and in. Nobody stopped him. Maui Z, his first two points of the game. And it's a 35-32 lead as that one knocked away, and Maui Z is going to have a lay-in. Maui Z, four quick points. And didn't see who knocked that one away. It may have been Moriarty. But uh, it is a one-point game again. Falcons on a 6-0 run. Here's Nielsen Skinner. Getting it inside to Alcindor. He goes around looking it and puts it up and in. And uh, Aaron Landon having a word for the official on his way back down the floor. Three-point lead for the Saints. Anderson stumbles. Gets it off to Pinnegar. Pinnegar whips it outside for Z. Z gets a screen from Anderson. Steps back, takes a three, puts it in. Maui Z catching fire here early in the second half. He's got seven. Needs another three to get to 1,000 for his career. Here is Alcindor mugged there by Sean Anderson, and Alcindor will be at the free throw line. Foul on Anderson is his, is his first. 16.37 to go. And Lutonen will come over and have a word with his head coach, Kefri Fazio. Fazio being promoted to head coach this year from the uh, an assistant role in previous years. As Shaquem Alcindor goes to the free throw line and knocks in the first free throw here. As uh, Z had tied the game up at 37, Alcindor... Puts the Saints back ahead, and now this one rims out, and Maui Z with the rebound. Falcons with an opportunity to take the lead on this possession. Anderson gets it to Z, being guarded by Nielsen Skinner. Finds Anderson for a three, and that one is off the mark, but they're going to get Al Sender with a, a three-shot foul here. And Shaw Anderson, not the guy you want to send to the free throw line ever, but definitely not for three free throws. Shaw Anderson, a, an 89% free throw shooter on the season. Had a 16 for 16 game against Cal State San Marcos in December. And Anderson puts in the first. Alcindor to the bench. Just his, uh, no, I'm sorry, he's still in the game. He's just in front of the St. Martin's bench. Now he'll come out as uh, Stokes will come in. Anderson has the Falcons in the lead, and Anderson now with 10 points in the ball game, First into double figures. And he'll have one more free throw coming up here, and that one rattles home. So Anderson goes three for three from the free throw line. He's got 11. Falcons with a two-point lead. Here's Nielsen Skinner. Driving on Z, and now Greeley with it, being guarded by Pentagon. Greeley goes around him to his left, puts it in off the glass, and the foul is going to go on Maui Z, I believe. Basket counts, foul does go on Maui Z with the block. As uh, he got caught underneath the basket there, trying to take the charge. And he's talking to the official, asking if he had his feet set. But Kyle Greeley to the free throw line, and he leaves that one well short. It's on the floor, and Anderson picks it up. Tied at 40, 16 minutes to play. Z into the front court. He's got three fouls now. Almost stepped out of bounds there. Gets it to Anderson. Anderson driving. We'll get it over to Moriarty in the corner. Moriarty. 
looking for somewhere to go with it. Saints playing good defense on this possession. Maui Z hands it to Anderson at the free throw line, rattles it home. Sean Anderson puts the Falcons back in front, 42 to 40. Anderson's got 13. He's on pace to break the all-time scoring record here at SPU, a record that has stood since the 50s. Lauren Anderson in 1958. As uh, we get a whistle here, that will take us to a timeout on the floor. But we're going to get a foul. That one is going on Moriarty. 15-17 to go. In the second half, a good ball game here from Royal Brown Pavilion. Falcons lead it 42 40. Fifteen seventeen to go in the ball game. Greg Sexton with you from Royal Brown Pavilion in Seattle. Falcons lead it 42-40 as uh, Jonas Latour checks in for SPU. St. Martins will have possession. I think I said that Shaw Anderson was the first to double digits. He's got 13, but uh, Shaquem Alcindor with 12 as well. And now we're going to get a foul... That's going to go on Kyle Lutonen. And that is his second, and it'll send Marcel Stevens to the free throw line. Stevens had a great first half with eight points and uh, looking for more here. At the free throw line, puts in the first. Marcel Stevens, I mentioned, just getting his second start tonight. He is an 82% free throw shooter, not a big sample size, 9 out of 11 on the season gets both to go here and we are tied back up at 42 Falcons trying to get it out of the backcourt and they do Shaw Anderson being guarded by Nate Stokes Anderson directing traffic looking for somewhere to go with it gets it to Pentagar Pentagar stumbled got into the lane anyway and Stokes with the contact and the foul, Stokes didn't agree with the call. Not a lot of contact there, but enough to send Jaden Pinnegar to the free throw line as he was in the act of shooting. And he will try to get the Falcons the lead back here. Gets the first free throw to go. 14.55 left in the ball game. Jaden Pinnegar, an 83% free throw shooter. Second one is good as well. So Pentagar with six points in the ball game. Falcons by two. Nielsen Skinner into the front court. Gets it to Greeley. Greeley up over Pentagar and gets it to go. Greeley with the jumper in the lane, contested by Pentagar. But we are tied at 44. Greeley now with uh, eight points in the ball game. Here's Moriarty getting through traffic, and he couldn't get the lay-in to go. Had to adjust in midair, and that one rolled off the rim. Saints with an opportunity to take the lead. Greeley with the screen from Stokes now gets it to Marcel Stevens, a deep three from the right wing. No good. Rebound tapped from Latour to Anderson, and the Falcons with it the other way. 
Lutonen taking a three, and he gets fouled. Kyle Lutonen misses on the three-point shot, but Marcel Stevens fouled him. And Lutonen will head to the free throw line for three shots. Shaw Anderson was at the free throw line going three for three a moment ago. And now Kyle Lutonen, who is just 55% at the free throw line, But uh, he will have an opportunity for three of them, and he misses the first off the back iron. Lutonen's free throw percentage is better than his three-point percentage, but uh, it does seem like he is uh, likely to knock down a three every time he puts one up in the air. As uh, missed on the last one, but drew the foul. Lutonen, 40% from three-point range, which is very solid. 55% at the free throw line is not. As uh, Maui Z comes back in. Caden Hansen on the floor for the Saints. Luton and trying to go two for three at the line, and he does. And he puts the Falcons in front by two. Luton in five points in the ballgame. Miles Samuels to Greeley. Greeley stops and pops over Jonas Latour. And he puts it in, Greeley with 10. 46 all. Greeley with that quick release. As Z gets it in the post, to the high post to Anderson. Latour for Z. Back in the post for Latour and he loses it. Thought he had a foul there but didn't get the, the call. Here's Nielsen Skinner, a deep three. All net for Jaden Nielsen Skinner. And he's got eight points in the ball game. A high arcing rainbow of a three there. And it's 49 to 46, the Saints with the lead. Anderson, double teamed in the corner. Gets it to Z, Luton in a three from the top of the key and he knocks it down. Kyle Luton and ties it right back up at 49. Just under 13 minutes to play here from Royal Brown Pavilion. And a good ball game here tonight. Nielsen Skinner drives and gets fouled. And they're going to get the foul on Sean Anderson there, reaching in, trying to come up with a steal. This will be a non shooting foul, the fifth team foul committed by the Falcons here in the second half. Ball comes in to Nate Stokes. And now Nielsen Skinner with it. Being guarded by Luton in. Steps back, puts up the shot over him. No good. Rebound Moriarty. Falcons the other way. Anderson in the front court. Going over Greeley. Puts it in. Shot Anderson with the floater in the lane over Kyle Greeley. And the Falcons with a two-point lead. Just over 12 to play. Stokes going around Luton and hands off to Greeley. Samuels with it now. Hanson a deep three, and that one off the back iron, no good. We get a whistle on the rebound, and we get a foul called on Nate Stokes, I believe. It is going to go on Stokes. That'll be his second. That'll take us to a timeout on the floor. 11.59 to play from Royal Brougham in Seattle. Don't go anywhere. We got a good one here. Falcons. Trying to go for the upset over the 13th ranked Saints. We'll be right back.
Back in Seattle, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. Falcons lead by two. They have shot 51% from the floor. The Saints, 36%. Falcons, 45 per, 46% make it beyond the arc, 45.5 to be precise. And the uh, Saints just 25% out there. Saints with a 10-rebound uh, edge as Evans gets it to Latour going to the bucket. And Latour puts it up and in. Falcons lead it by four. Jonas Latour with 10 points in the ballgame. Off the bench for SPU. Saints down by four. And we get a whistle. And we're going to get a foul here called on Owen Moriarty. That'll be his third. Moriarty has three. Z has three. And the Falcons trying to stay out of foul trouble here. Still a lot of time left in this ballgame. 11 and a half to go. Nielsen Skinner. Gets it to Stokes. Stokes underneath for Alcindor. He's underneath the basket. And he kicks it out in the corner. That one comes up short from Samuels. And we get a whistle and we're going the other way. I believe they... Uh, I'm not sure what they called there. It looked like the official was signaling shot clock violation. I did not hear a shot clock buzzer. But uh, the Falcons will take it back either way. Maui Z to Jaden Pinnegar at the free throw line. Turns around, puts it up and in. Pinnegar with eight points. And the Falcons with a six-point lead. Here's Nielsen Skinner dishing it to Shaquem Alcindor, and he rocks the rim with two hands. Alcindor with 14 points in the game and gets a rise out of the St. Martin's bench. Four-point game, and that's a uh, potential momentum-changing play as the Falcons had a six-point lead. Still four, and the Falcons will go back to work. Pinnegar, three from the corner, and Jaden Pinnegar puts the Falcons up by seven. He's got 11 points. Here's Nielsen Skinner dishing to Alcindor at the bucket. He puts it up and in. He's going to go to the free throw line. And we're going back and forth here as the foul committed by Kyle Lutonen. Uh No, make it uh, Jaden Pinnegar, rather. Lutonen is not on the floor. That is Pinnegar. And uh, that puts the Saints in the bonus. Seventh team foul on the Falcons. Pentagar now with three. And Alcindor knocks in the free throw. He's got 17 points in the ballgame. Saints within four as Alcindor with the end one there. And just over 10 minutes to play in this one. Here's Evans. Kicks it to Latour. Latour tried to get it to Moriarty and led him a little too far. Saints back the other way. Samuels in the post for Alcindor. Knocked away. Alcindor gets it right back. Goes up over Z. Puts it in. And that is 19 points now for Shaquem Alcindor. 58-56. Falcons with the lead. Nine and a half to play. Shaw Anderson not on the floor at the moment. Taking a break. Here's Moriarty, couldn't get it to go. It's going to stay with the Falcons as Anderson will come back in along with Lutonen. And Tyke Thompson will come in for the Saints. He'll come get Alcindor. Shaquem Alcindor at 19 in the, in the ballgame. Evans will come to the bench along with Latour for SPU. Maui Z gets it in to Lutonen and he keeps his feet in the front court. Z to Luton in for a three. And that one off the back iron, no good. Saints with the rebound. They have an opportunity to tire take the lead here. Samuels to the bucket, up and in. And he gets called for the charge. We're going the other way. As Samuels plowed into, uh, I don't have the benefit of replay, but... Uh, Samuels ran over somebody there for the Falcons. And it is Falcons' possession 
as Miles Samuels is called for the foul. Anderson thought about it, tried to get it to uh, Moriarty cutting into the lane instead, and he was not able to corral it. And the Saints get it back with under nine to play. Greeley inside for Stokes. Stokes blocks from behind, goes back up. They're going to get a held ball called here. And the possession arrow will keep it with St. Martin's. 8.33 to play. Thompson for Stokes. Here's Samuels. And the shot clock did not reset. Greeley gets to the bucket, lays it up and in, and one. And Kyle Greeley now 12 points in the ballgame. He will have an opportunity to go to the free throw line and put the Saints back in the lead. As that's the eighth team foul on the Falcons. Called on Owen Moriarty. He's got four now in the game. Kyle Greeley, an 81% free throw shooter. And his free throw is good. 13 for Greeley. As Latour will check back in at the next dead ball for SPU. Presumably for Mori uh, Moriarty, who's still out there with four. Here's Pentagar in to the lane. Couldn't get it to go. Tapped back up. Might have been the first offensive rebound for the Falcons there, but they could not get it to go. Greeley, a long three, and that one is off the mark. Here's Maui Z with the rebound. Coming the other way. Moriarty steps into a three, and he puts it in. And the Falcons take the lead back by two. 61-59. I believe Kyle Landon just called a timeout from the St. Martin's bench as he's out onto the floor. And he's stepping away from the, uh, the Saints, letting them have a moment. But uh, 747 to go in the ballgame here. 6159 Falcons with the lead. We'll be right back in just a moment. Inside Royal Brougham Pavilion in Seattle. Greg Sexton with you on the SV webcast. Falcons by two, 61-59. A back and forth game here in the second half. Owen Moriarty just put the Falcons back in front with a three. And uh, his first three-point attempt and make of the game. Four Falcons in double figures. Moriarty and Latour each with 10. Anderson with 15. Pentagar with 11. And... Uh, for St. Martin's, Shaquem Alcindor has 19 to lead all scorers. This one is kicked by the Falcons. As uh, three players for St. Martin's in double figures. Alcindor with 19, Greeley with 13, and Stevens with 10. And the Saints with possession. Nielsen Skinner, seven and a half to go in the ballgame. Latour switches on to Nielsen Skinner. Stevens over Anderson, puts it in. Marcel Stevens hit a couple of threes in the first half. It's another one here. He's got 13 points in the ballgame. And the Saints with the lead again, 62-61. Z. And here is Pentagar with a turnaround jumper. 
from just outside the key. And Pentagar puts the Falcons back in front by a point. Under seven to play here, 63-62. Here's Ty Thompson going down the baseline, kicks it to Greeley. It's Nielsen Skinner, the open shooter, and it's no good, but the rebound collected by Stevens. And another offensive rebound for the Saints. Kyle Greeley hits a three from the top of the key. And the Saints retake the lead by two. 65-63. Now is he into the front court? To Latour, Lutonen in the corner. Didn't have enough room to get the shot off. Anderson will kick it to Pentagar for a three, and that one is off the mark. Tyke Thompson the rebound. Saints by two with possession and six minutes to go in the ballgame. Thompson trying to get around. Anderson does, scoops it up and in with the left hand. Good move there in the post by Tyke Thompson to get around Sean Anderson. And Thompson's got six. Saints by four. Here's Pentagar. Trying to go around Stokes. Backs it out instead. Gets it inside for Anderson. Anderson going around Thompson. And the ball is loose there. Luton and had it. And I think they're going to get a foul on the Saints. Or are they? Yes. That is going to go on Marcel Stevens, his third. Shaquem Alcindor back into the game. Alcindor out of St. Croix in the Virgin Islands, the U.S. Virgin Islands. Falcons with possession down four, five and a half to play. Z. For Anderson, a turnaround from the free throw line, too strong. Off the back iron. And the Saints with the rebound and a four point lead. Here's Greeley. Greeley going to Nielsen Skinner. Stevens with it in the corner now. Feeds it inside, and they're going to get. Let's see here. They get the foul on Shaw Anderson. I saw. So the official with uh, another signal initially there. But uh, he gets the foul on Shaw Anderson, who has picked up his third. Evans for the Falcons back into the game. Z comes to the bench. Moriarty back out there as well. Owen Moriarty with four fouls in the game. Alexander, uh, <laughs> Alcindor rather at the free throw line with a one and one and he puts in the front end and he, he's got 20 points in the ball game for the Saints second one up and good six point lead for St. Martins and they're going to get Stevens on a foul in the backcourt that'll be the sixth team foul against St. Martin's and Shaw Anderson pulls his teammates together for a quick huddle. Fourth foul on Stevens. And Caden Hansen will get up off the bench to come get Marcel Stevens. And actually, no, I, I, I take that back. There were 16 fouls on the Saints, that was their seventh. And so Sean Anderson will go to the free throw line with a one-and-one -one opportunity here. And he puts it in. Anderson back down the floor. And Anderson's free throw is good. Four-point ball game. Five minutes to play. Saints by two possessions here. Hansen to Nielsen Skinner. Nielsen Skinner slowing things down a little bit here. Gets a screen from Alcindor. Nielsen Skinner with the floater over, over Pentagar. And now Alcindor is going to draw the foul as Hansen came in a moment ago and tried to put one back up. Uh, tried to put, a, put one back in but couldn't get it to go. Alcindor ends up with it 
and he will go to the free throw line here as Kyle Lutonen commits his third foul. So a lot of Falcons with either three or four fouls in the ball game here. Moriarty with four. Luton is out there with three. Pentagar with three. Anderson with three. And Alcindor back to the free throw line. Misses this one off the back iron. And Alcindor now five out of seven from the free throw line. Second one is up. And that one rims out. So Shaquem Alcindor misses two from the free throw line. And the Falcons down just four with 4.30 to go. Moriarty for Evans. Evans to Anderson at the free throw line. Turns around, puts it up and in. Shot Anderson with 19 in the ball game. It's a two-point game. Saints with possession. Alcindor going around. Evans couldn't get it to go. It's ripped away, but a foul called on the Falcons. And that's Luton and picking up another one. He's got four now. And the Saints in the double bonus. Every foul from this point will be two shots. With the exception of uh, if the uh, Falcons commit an offensive foul, Saints will just get the ball. Any foul, though, where the Saints have possession, they are going to be shooting two free throws. Alcindor goes back to the free throw line and puts in another free throw. He's got 22. One more coming here for, for Shaquem. And he gets that one to go as well. Four-point game, Shaquem Alcindor, 23 points in the ballgame. And the Falcons get it across midcourt. Down four, four minutes to play. Moriarty to Anderson. He'll get it in the post for Evans. Evans in the high post. We'll hand off to Pentagar. Pentagar misses the shot. And Evans was unable to get it back and now commits the foul on Hansen. Fortunately for Trace Evans, that's just his first. But that will take us to a timeout on the floor with 3.44 to go in the ballgame. Saints lead it by four, 71-67. We'll be right back in just a moment on the SP webcast. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. The legacy began in 1973. That was the year NCAA Division II was born. And since the very first day, our division has shaped generations of student athletes with a true sense of academics, athletics, and community. That is five decades of graduations, championships, teamwork, and personal development. 50 years of shaping student athletes into world-class leaders. NCAA Division II, our division, our legacy. Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SP webcast. Caden Hansen will head to the free throw line here for St. Martin's. And it is currently a four-point ball game. Saints shooting 40% from the floor now. And uh, still with a big rebounding advantage, 39-25. As the Saints controlling the glass here, Hansen puts in the free throw. Saints with 17 offensive rebounds, and the Falcons just one. As Hansen goes back to the line for another one and puts them both in. As Caden Hansen, a 67% free throw shooter, knocks in two. Six-point ball game, and the Falcons trying to hang in there. Plenty of time still. Three and a half to go. 
The Falcons are going to need to put together a little bit of a run. Shaw Anderson into the lane, kicks it to Moriarty. Here is Lutonen on a three, and that one is off the mark, rebounded by Alcindor. And here come the Saints. Hansen will get it to Nielsen Skinner, and the Saints will kill some clock. They lead by six, as we'll take down inside three minutes to go. Hansen taking it all the way to the lane, or all the way to the bucket, I should say, through the lane. And he lays that one up and in. And we get a whistle. Falcons will keep it. Eight point lead now for the Saints and the Falcons trying to uh, not let this one slip away. Pinegar at the free throw line over Alcindor and he puts it in. Jaden Pinegar, 15 points in the ball game. And it's a six point game, two and a half to go. Nielsen Skinner and he kills some clock for the Saints. Falcons are 10 and two at home and just have one conference loss at home. That being to Alaska Fairbanks back on November 30th as uh, the Falcons come up with a rebound here and head the other way. Moriarty almost walked with it. Pinegar will step inside the line, put up the floater over Alcindor. And Jaden Pinegar can't miss here in the second half. He's got the Falcons back within four at 75-71. A minute 40 to go in the ballgame. Nielsen Skinner for Tyke Thompson. Turnaround jumper from the baseline. Puts it in. Big shot. Saints would go back up by six. A minute and a half to play. Falcons are going to need some buckets and some stops. A minute 20 to go now. Here's Anderson finding Latour at the bucket. And he reverses it up and in. Jonas Latour with 12 points off the bench. It's a four-point game. And the Saints are going to kill some more clock here. 20 on the shot clock, a minute three left to play. Saints by four. Here's Nielsen Skinner. Getting it to Hansen. Back to Nielsen Skinner with eight on the shot clock. Being guarded by Anderson. Goes over and puts up the floater, puts it in. That one rattled around on the rim and fell home for Jaden Nielsen Skinner. And he's got 10 points in the ballgame. Falcons down six. Running out of time here. Pinegar leaves it short. Rebound Hansen. And the Falcons are going to have to foul. And they do. 32.7 left. And St. Martin's closing in on a win here. Falcons are going to need, as uh, we have some fans heading for the exits, a few of them trying to beat the traffic. Not that there's a whole lot here. But uh, Caden Hansen will head to the free throw line where he knocked down a couple a moment ago. And he'll try to make this a three possession ball game. And he does. Caden Hansen, the redshirt freshman from Auburn. A little, maybe a little closer to Seattle than it is to Lacey, but uh, about, about halfway in between. Now EZ will check back in for Jonas Latour. And it's a seven-point lead. Caden Hansen trying to make it eight, and he does. Timeout called by St. Martins. Aaron Landon wants to talk things over. Hansen with nine off the bench. And this will be a 30-second timeout. Saints with an eight-point lead. And the Falcons just 32.7 left on the clock. They are going to need at least eight points and uh, possibly more if uh, St. Martin's is able to draw a foul or two and get back to the free throw line. But uh, Falcons need some quick buckets here. Multiple quick buckets as they got 32.7 left to make up an eight-point deficit. Uh, 
Here is Maui Z coming across midcourt. Pinnegar going to take a quick three, and that one goes down. And Aaron Landon showing some frustration there, exactly what he didn't want after he called timeout a moment ago to talk things over with his squad. Five-point game now. Pinnegar with 20 to lead the way for the Falcons. 81-76, this will be a full timeout. We'll see Theo McMillan and Kobe Elsner coming into the game here on defense for the Falcons. But we'll step aside quickly here on the SP webcast. We'll be right back in just a moment. Back inside Royal Brougham, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. As the Falcons indeed put Theo McMillan and Kobe Elsner on the floor, neither of them has been in the game, so neither of them has any fouls, and they're going to need to give one here on Nielsen Skinner. They're going to get Elsner with the foul, and uh, now McMillan and Elsner and Latour will come to the bench after the first free throw here by Nielsen Skinner. 22.7 left on the clock. And the Falcons trying to extend the game. Nielsen Skinner at the line, and he puts in the first free throw. He is an 84% free throw shooter. And so not the guy you wanted to foul there, as the uh, Falcons will send back in Moriarty, Lutonen and Pentagar, who are all in foul trouble, all have four fouls. And so you see the strategy there by uh, Kefri Fazio putting in uh, Elsner, who picked up the foul, McMillan, and Latour was out there as well. Nielsen Skinner, though, hits both free throws, and it's still it's a seven-point game again here. And the Falcons still needing three buckets at least as Moriarty loses it short. Rebound to Greeley, and they will foul again. Z will pick up his fourth foul on Kyle Greeley. This game is over. As the Saints, with a seven-point lead, going to get out of Seattle with a win to go to 10-3 and three in conference play. And they will go to 20-3 and three overall on the season. They will head to Montana State Billings on Saturday. Western Oregon will be here as Kyle Greeley misses on the free throw. That's uh, That'll be a, a great game. The top two teams in the GNAC, St. Martins and Montana State Billings, going head-to-head -head on Saturday afternoon in Billings. Greeley gets the second free throw. It's an eight-point game. Here's Maui Z taking a long three. That was going to give him a 1,000 for his career, but that's going to have to wait for another night as the Saints win it by 8, 84 to 76. And going back and looking at the team stats here, Falcons shot the ball at 52%. The Saints, 42%. Falcons were 92% uh, at the free throw line. Saints got to the free throw line nine more times. They shot 77%. But the big, uh, the big story here in this one, the, the big discrepancy stat-wise, the rebounds, as the Saints control the glass, they out-rebound the Falcons 43-26. to And the big discrepancy on the offensive end is the Saints collected 17 offensive boards and the Falcons had one. 
And that one was a tip up, uh, t uh, not, not not a tip in, but uh, just a tip uh, of a missed shot. Didn't go in. And uh, the Falcons just that one offensive rebound in this ball game. And that makes the difference there in this one. Falcons also turned it over 13 times. That's not terrible against St. Martin's. Uh, St. Martin's only turned it over eight times, though. They took care of the basketball tonight. Falcons with 14 assists to just seven for the Saints. But uh, the Saints with 84 points on the board. That is uh, right about on their season average as they average 84.73. And the Falcons just a little over their season average of 73.7. But... Uh, not enough to get the one to uh, to get the win here tonight against the St. Martin Saints, who uh, again go to ten and three in conference play. Five games to go in the GNAC schedule, and the Falcons go to six and eight in conference. They are going to need to win on Saturday against Western Oregon, and they're going to need to uh, really pull out a couple of more. But before this is over, in in order to uh, kind of stay in contention, in you know trying to get into the GNAC tournament, GNAC tournament takes the top six teams, and uh, we'll see. Um, what Anchorage did tonight, they were playing at. Let's see here. Uh, they were playing at home. Anchorage was. Uh, against Simon Fraser, and uh, so we'll we'll uh, actually see if we have a final on that one, because that's going to make a big difference here for the Falcons. We get a final from Billings as Billings defeats Western Oregon ninety three to seventy two, but we do we still do not have a final uh, from Anchorage, so we'll uh, we'll get to that. But Falcons had. Uh, a winnable game here. They had the lead quite, you know, for for uh, a little bit, a few times in the second half, and they could not close the deal. The Saints go on a run to uh, take the lead, and they hang on for an eight-point win. Individually for St. Martin's, they have four players in double figures: Shaquem Alcindor, twenty-three points, nine rebounds. And went 7 of 10 at the free throw line. 8 of 11 from the floor. And uh, a great game turned in by Shaquem Alcindor, the junior out of St. Croix in the Virgin Islands. 17 points, 8 rebounds for Kyle Greeley. 13 points, 7 rebounds for Marcel Stevens, making just his second start for the Saints. And Jaden uh, Nielsen Skinner, 12 points. Three assists and a rebound. He had a couple of steals as well. And uh, Caden Hansen with nine points off the bench. Ty Thompson had eight. For the Falcons, they get 20 from Jaden Pentagar. Just two rebounds. And uh, Falcons did not have anybody with more than six, point, or six rebounds in the game. Shaw Anderson was one of those. 19.6 rebounds. Kyle Luton also had six rebounds for SPU. Jonas Latour, 12 points. And Owen Moriarty with 10. Maui Z came just short of collecting his 1,000th career point. He is three short at the moment. He had seven assists and two steals. Seven points, three rebounds. So Maui Z filling up the stat sheet. But uh, in a losing effort here tonight... As the Falcons with their backs to the wall trying to get into the GNAC tournament. They will have Western Oregon here on Saturday. That will be a 2 p.m. tip. Then they're going to welcome in Montana State Billings the following Saturday. And that will be a tough one. Then they have to go to Anchorage and Fairbanks to close out the season. So uh, the Falcons looking at uh, really needing to, to get three out of their final four uh, to... to um, really have a, a good shot. They they could 
with uh, two wins out of their final four games, potentially sneak into the GNAC tournament. But uh, it, it is, is not looking good. They really could have used a win here at home tonight. They didn't get it. Saints do, and they will head back to Lacey tonight, head out to Billings on Saturday. That'll be a good one there. Falcons dropped to 13-14, and 14, just their third, third loss on their home court this year. They go to 6-8 uh, and eight in conference. And the Saints, as, as I mentioned, 20-3 overall now, 10-3 and three in conference. That'll do it for tonight's broadcast, 84-76. Uh, Again, the final, St. Martin's with the win. And we will talk to you on Saturday. Western Oregon will be here for a 2 p.m. tip. Talk to you then.